You are listening to Sinu Podcast. This program is a collaboration between the Kapurei Communication and Alumni Relations Center and the Language Institute. Hello, everyone. This is Ashley Submung, and you are listening to Sinu Podcast. Today, we have a news to update with you, which is about rice straw derived food containers. Sinu's ready to use innovation that promotes sustainable agriculture. So let's hear the news from Mr. Irvin Moore. Thanks, Ashley. Rice straw is a byproduct of rice farming. Each year, 20 million tons of straw is produced. And not only are they used for feeding animals or covering the surface soil, but they can also be used to produce eco-friendly products with added value. The Faculty of Agro Industry, Chiang Mai University, has innovated a chemical-free and food-safe container made from rice straw, which is 100% biodegradable and eco-friendly. This helps enhance the modern entrepreneurial skills, professional stability, and capacity in the business and industrial sectors among the crop producers, preparing them for the international market. The research team from the Faculty of Agro Industry, led by Assistant Professor Dr. Sutapat Kamtai, got the inspiration during their consultation visit with rice farmers who did not know how to make use of the rice straw. Initially, the collected straw from Matha District, Lampang, were processed into paper. Then, in collaboration with SMEs, the need for microwavable, waterproof, food-grade containers was identified. To make a container that is completely safe, only straw from organic, chemical-free rice is selected and then prepared to undergo what's called the green process of defibering, the use of microbes and special rice flour-derived glue, and the development of safe coating materials, which does not cause adverse social or environmental impacts. The quality fibers are then formed into the containers that hold their shape for about two hours. More importantly, these plastic-free containers are highly biodegradable as they are made of 100% rice straw, contributing to the reduction of burning that results in haze problems in the region. In terms of product design, the assistance from Science and Technology Park has contributed to the captivating looks and enhanced marketing opportunities. In line with the mission in research for academic services, CMU aims to help the communities grow and become stronger so that they can generate income and set a good example for others. In the future, other agricultural leftovers such as corn husks, pineapple leaves, and hemp herds can be made into containers as well. The pilot model in Matem District, which has numerous rice farms, will be able to accommodate industrial-scale production. The transfer of knowledge and technology from researchers to the local communities will drive the local economic development that yields both commercial benefits and the sustainable improvement in the quality of life. Thank you very much, and that's it for today. Please stay tuned to the next episode of CU Podcast on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.